and welcome back to my channel. I am Catherine and today's video is all about the pixel. What is it? Why do you need it? What's the purpose? What's retargeting? How do you put it on your website? What? So I'm here to tell you all my secrets. Everything, everything, everything. I have my own digital advertising agency called the Daisy Ad Agency and I help businesses and entrepreneurs run Facebook and Instagram ads to help grow their email list, drive traffic to their website, increase sales, promote a product, promote a course, uh, so many things. <laughs> you can do so many things with Facebook and Instagram ads. It's crazy, very, very crazy. But today I'm just gonna focus on the pixel because honestly it's very it's the most it's very important if you want to run ads or even if even if you don't right now and you want to run ads down the road i just want to give you a real quick list of why it's important and how to put it on there because if nothing else and you have a website you're a business owner you're an entrepreneur of some sort you need this okay if you don't hear anything else hear that put a pix on your website okay i'm just trying to help you all right all right if you already know what a pixel is, you already know what retargeting is, you don't want to hear me uh, blab about it for five minutes, then skip to this time right here. Okay, just go ahead and go. And I will show you how to put it on your website. And if you don't know what a pixel is, why it's important, or anything like that, um, keep listening. <laughs> First of all, what is a pixel? So the pixel is a little bit piece of code that you put on your website. Once it's on your website, it's records all the data so every person that's visited your website every person who's bought something visited certain pages the pixel records all of that and it is just like this big database of your audience like your target audience the people who are interested in your products that's what they're recording they're recording everyone who's ever been to your website now does it know the name and the address and you know creepy stuff like that no, it remembers IP addresses, like mobile IDs, cookies, stuff like that. So like, it's not gonna say, Catherine Davis visited your website at 2.04 p.m. <laughs> it's gonna remember my cookies and it's gonna know that's the person to target, to advertise for. Besides recording people who already come to your website, the people who are already part of your audience, who are already fans of you, you can use that information in the pixel to expand to other audiences. The pixel's collecting all this data, all this important information, and from there, you can use that not only to market to the people who have already visited your page or have already expressed interest in what you have to offer, you can use the information in that pixel, say like what people like, what people are interested in uh, and find similar audiences. So other people who have not been to your website, you can find those people who are interested in travel, interested in teaching, interested in, um, I don't know, baby goats, I'm not sure. Whatever you wanna sell. Sell, promote, I don't know. But <laughs> literally anything. Facebook's really crazy. There are so many different avenues you can take. There's so many different communities and you can get very specific with Facebook and Instagram ads. It's insane anyway another day we'll get into that another day <laughs> my point is you can find other audiences who may not have heard of you before or your brand or uh, what you're selling and you can find people with those similar interests who might be interested and bring them in um, so it's a great way to just expand and build your audience and reach people you haven't already which is really really cool knowing all this when you do run facebook and instagram ads it can really optimize your campaign. The more information it has, the more it can find specific people who are more likely to purchase or you know, opt into your email campaign or anything like that or be interested in your website. The more information it has, the more powerful it is and the more it can help you and optimize your ad campaigns. It can optimize your searches. It's, it's very, very powerful. The important thing is to put a Facebook pixel on your website as soon as possible. Pixel is very smart, it knows everything, but it doesn't know everything. <laughs> it can only start working from the second you put it on. Pixel has to be on your website in order to work. It's, say you have a website for two years and you did not have a pixel on there, and you put a pixel on there today, that's great, it'll start recording and memorizing and helping you starting today, but all that information from two years ago is pretty much lost. It can't go back and, you know, learn stuff, for lack of better words, from the past two years. It can only 
start where it where the day you put it in and go forward so that's why it's important to put it on as soon as possible rather than later now is all that say you are in that boat and it's been two years and you didn't have a pixel on until today is all that information lost no the pixel would be much stronger and would have a way better idea of what your audience is who's interested but if you have like an email list already going or like you already have a fan base which i'm sure after two years i'm sure you have something <laughs> it's not completely lost you still you have a lot of information already it's just the pixel can't go back and learn that it's starting from scratch from the day you put it on i hope that makes sense <laughs> i'm talking about it like it's a real person but it's just the easiest way to put it <laughs> my last point before i show you how to put a pixel on your website is remarketing remarketing and retargeting so this is Huge. What is remarketing and retargeting? I will tell you. So, have you ever been on, let's just say, let's just say Sephora. I love makeup. So, let's say on Sephora, you're looking at a couple products, you might add some to your cart, maybe you don't, um, and you're just, just, just kind of like messing around, you're not really gonna buy anything, and then you exit out, you're like, whatever, I don't wanna, not gonna buy anything, I don't care. Then, later when you're on facebook or instagram and you see these little notifications pop up saying hey you know that hourglass foundation um you should buy it why didn't you buy the new fenty eyeshadow hello catherine go to sephora right now all these sephora ads pop up right that is retargeting that is remarketing fun fact two percent of the people who are first-time visitors to your website are gonna buy something okay that's only two percent it doesn't happen often but it it's not like it never happens, but most people need to have a relationship, have some sort of trust in your brand, in your store, and what you're trying to sell in order for them to put money towards it, right? So it usually takes about six or seven times of seeing the brand, seeing the face, for them to really see it as a true company or to them for them to have trust in it, if that makes sense. So yes, people who are first time visitors sometimes make a purchase, but the other 98% of the time you really have to, hey, uh, you wanna buy this? Hey, um, thanks for visiting the website, you wanna come back? Hey, um, real, it's a real business. Um, why don't you, you should like my Facebook page, my Instagram, no, yes, yeah. They need that reminder about six or seven times before they actually purchase a product, want to invest, all that fun stuff, which is why the Pixel comes in and remarketing so that you can remarket to those people. They've already clicked on your website, they're in your Pixel, the Pixel knows to contact them, to show them a Facebook ad or Instagram ad or whatever you want, and join your email list, buy the product, buy the course, buy, sell, become part of your community, anything. There's so much to do with Facebook and Instagram ads, we don't have time right now, we just don't have time. But the important thing is to put a pixel on your website. If you don't care about anything else, please put a pixel on your website. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So I'm gonna walk you through how to put a pixel on your website. I don't currently have a website to put a pixel on, <laughs> but I am just gonna walk you through the steps so you know. So first of all, you're gonna have to make a business account. Go to business.facebook.com make an account it's free just like Facebook you'll have to make a business page to link it to um, so yeah so make a business page make a business account here and then we're gonna go to business settings so in business settings oh, one second okay in business settings there's all this stuff on the side we're gonna hit add accounts and we're gonna create an ad account so hit add account click add an ad account so here, you're gonna put in ad account ID. So go to your Facebook page. Uh, this is quote unquote classic Facebook. Facebook just upgraded their stuff. I could not find it on the upgraded system. So I don't know if that's a bug or something I'm gonna have to figure out later. Uh, when I do figure that out, I will make a video about it. But in this version, the classic version, go to about scroll down you'll see page ID you're just gonna copy that number go back here and then paste it okay and then once you paste it you'll hit add account okay after that you're gonna go to pixels perfect and then we're gonna click the account 
this isn't really anything. <laughs> it's just something random I created. But uh, anyway, this is what it will look like, and you're going to click Facebook fit Pixel, get started, and it is literally going to walk you through how to set it up. So you're going to put in your uh, website, and then, oops, no, no, no. Okay, well, that was the end of it anyway. Once you click in your website, it, it will you'll pick which server you use, like Squarespace, Wix, um, WordPress, any of them, and it'll walk you through exactly how to set it up. Um, it's very easy. It goes step by step. And, yeah, if you have questions, drop a comment and have fun putting your pixel on. Okay. I hope that tutorial was helpful for you. I hope you... Uh, learn more about the pixel and why it's so important and why I am begging you to put a pixel on your website right now. <laughs> if you got nothing else, please put a pixel on your website for your sake, okay? And if you're interested in running Facebook and Instagram ads or would like to learn more about how they work, how to grow your business, how to expand your email list, how to increase sales, clientele, whatever you're looking for, uh, I would love to answer your questions. Please email me at hello at daisyadagency.com and I'd be happy to get back to you. You can also drop a comment under this video if you're on YouTube and yeah, visit my website, daisyadagency.com. I have some information there and yeah, I just hope to help you. So anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day and don't forget to put a pixel on your website and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye. I have my own ad agent or Eddie who are where you add something to a card, which is a product or a product. On